question about uh, the game art pipeline. And so I wanted to do this big presentation and unfortunately just life is getting in the way. So I'm going to simplify this a little bit. And the big thing is the different stages of the pipeline and then the pipeline itself. And I'll kind of go over that and talk to you guys about this. Okay, so the first uh, phase is concept art. The concept art is about the idea generation, uh, creating the characters, creating the world, creating the environment. And once that's done, it uh, can go into the modeling phase. Uh, the modeling phase has actually different parts to the modeling phase. Uh, there's low poly, there's high poly, there's uh, unwrapping, and things like that. And you could also kind of lump in materials as well. Um, materials is basically your texture generation. Retopology uh, and baking are the next stage, and that's basically taking the high poly and bringing it down to a workable low poly so you can put it in the game engine. Uh, from there, you're going to rig it, uh, and that is the skeletal structure that you're going to use, and then you're going to animate it. And in this case, animation is not... Uh, like you would do for film where where it's following through camera based uh, you're basically creating several different smaller cycles so like a walk cycle a run cycle a jump animate and then you're putting that usually in one big file and depending on the pipeline and the pipeline changes from from game to game company to company so uh, you're going to animate it and then you're going to export it into the game engine where you're going to ultimately take this and make it in unity or unreal or whatever engine you're using so program wise this is by far not even close to what potentially you could be using for your products um, with the concept art phase you can use photoshop uh, there's people who use zbrush to block things out really quick um, there's a lot of different pipelines uh, and it really depends on what you're what you're doing you can even use 3D programs like 3ds Max or Maya to build up framework to help you uh, and, and quicken your process. Uh, they're using AI generation now. I mean, it's it's really intense on what you can uh, be using to create concept art. From the modeling phase, it really boils down to one or two of the pipelines. Uh, the first pipeline is you know it really depends on the game. So if you're doing a low poly. Uh, like World of Warcraft or something along those lines and let me just double check my brushes here um, there we go so if you're doing a low poly like World of Warcraft or like a simple Android or Apple game or something a little low like that where it really doesn't matter on the amount of detail that you have in a particular model or that you have to fake that detail you're probably going to skip the high poly generation phase um, and so with that idea in mind you're basically going from low poly to UV and you're going to go straight to materials and those materials are going to be done in Quixel or Photoshop or things like that the other aspect is there's the high poly phase so the high poly phase uh, you will basically be uh, creating a couple different ways so what you can do with the high poly phase is you can create it directly in ZBrush here and basically skip the low poly modeling phase um, you still build it up but then you still have to retopologize it and do all those things you can also um, put it in you know like your high end here so it really depends on what type of modeling you have so your high poly phase you can do like zbrush and that'll take you mostly through the pipeline here uh, you can also create a low poly model put it in a high poly uh, program a sculpting program and so you can do like um, like 3ds max to like zbrush and then you can you know build your materials whatever you're choosing for your materials and so on and so forth you can also skip that and go directly from you know max or maya straight to like substance and kind of build up the topology that way and you just have to be 
understanding on what you're doing and what type of like topology you're making. So this whole like 3D pipeline is dependent on what type of assets you need to create and dependent on what type of like um, what type of uh, output you're going to need and what type of like maps you're going to need and things like that. Um, and a lot of stuff nowadays is done with you know trim mapping. Um, so any um, uh, trim mapping basically is a way to create your your buildings and um, I know this one of the Star Trek games just basically creates these strips of textures and then you model and assign those textures in like a low poly like 3ds max or Maya or, or blender and that trim mapping you know completely negates the need for ZBrush or anything like that so it really depends on how your your end result needs to, to work on it and what your pipeline needs. And then when you're doing retopology, you're gonna basically take that low poly down and if you have a high poly. So if you if you you know are doing this one or if you're doing this one, there's no need to retopology. So that that takes out that whole idea. And baking is ultimately just getting your maps. And so if you're using like Quixel or, or Substance, those maps are already done and you just hit an export button, you're done. Um, if you're doing baking of high poly to low poly, so you're getting out your normals and your cavities and cavity maps and things like that, then ultimately what you're doing is uh, taking that high poly and then baking it on top of the low poly to export those particular maps. Um, just another form of kind of uh, technologically you know, doing it. There's also other softwares, like I said, this is not the not the, the whole software list here. There's so many softwares, like I couldn't even fit a model all on a page if I, if I even went and started searching for all this stuff. Um, and then basically you're gonna rig and animate, and again, there's softwares to help you with that. And this doesn't take in mind of uh, mocap and things like that. So mocap is starting to get more prevalent in the game world. Uh, so instead of like having to create a walk cycle, they just dress up in the suit and do a walk cycle and it's into the computer and then they can tweak it from there. And then finally, you know, the animate software. And again, uh, with a lot of this stuff, all the softwares are basically, you know, built together. So the pipeline is really immersive and really kind of what your uh, company or what your your pipeline process is um, and it, it really depends on the final output like if you're doing low low poly buildings you're probably going to really work in low poly modeling you're going to probably work in some material software after you unwrap it and you're going to work in you know import it right into the engine uh, no need for animation, no need for rigging, bakings out, all that stuff. Um, so it really depends on, on what process you're using. And ultimately, that's kind of the, the basic steps. Not all the steps are going to be used. Not all the steps are going to be kind of worked with. But ultimately, um, it, it's more or less what you want. Now, if you're looking for a job in one of these industries, uh, you ultimately you want to look at what company you're looking for. So if you're you want to work for Naughty Dog or something along those lines, you need to do uh, kind of what Naughty Dog is already doing and give them a portfolio based on their art style, technology, that type of thing. So it shows you you understand that process. And a lot of times you can just watch their how you know their videos or their process videos for particular games to get a better idea of what you're doing. Um, I hope that kind of helps you out a little bit. I'm sorry it took so long to, to get this out. I just, uh, again, too many projects going on and I needed to um, skip the idea of doing all this big slideshow presentation and just kind of give you the information. All right. I uh, hope that helps you.